You should know that buying an exaggerated condominium can get you over $1 million in profits. Here are the top 5 most profitable exchange in Singapore. Number 5, The Armory. A 15 floor 4-bedroom unit was sold for 630k profit when the owner purchased it in 2016 and sold it this year. The funny thing is that just last year, a similar unit with the same layout and also on the 15th floor only sold for higher k profit. Strange. Number 4, Esther Marina Residence. With just a 5 minutes walk away from Wangkok MRT, a 3 bedroom penthouse standing over 1,700 square feet made the owner 784k profits in 12 years. Number 3, The Terrace. This development actually hit its MOB status just this year, and the owner of a ground floor 4 bedroom unit actually made a whopping 788k profits in just 6 years. So the owner actually bought this development just one year before the EOP and enjoyed a 236% return on equity. Number 2, The Tampanese Trillion, the owner of a 4 bedroom plus unique penthouse, actually sold their unit for $2.35 million this year, and that enabled them to make a 972 k in profits. If you look at the condominium, there's only two of such unit layout types. That may explain why the price the only able to get is <laughs> The most profitable industry is of course in the RCR region and that's none other than Vishal Loft. A 4 bedroom unit actually made over $1.3 million in profits, but that was over 20 years when the owner actually bought it in 2001. Now that I've identified for you the top 5 most profitable industry in Singapore, are you able to find the similarities between them? 